Hello, and thank you for listening to the Skate Filet Podcast, the best skateboard podcast in the world. Today is Thursday, May 23rd, 2019. With me, as always, is Michael Medina and Grant Fierro. Episode 200 has hit us. We have done this. We made it. Some of it, you know, I was thinking earlier, Mike, are you the only one that's done all 200 episodes? No, dude, because I've missed a couple here and there. I thought the same thing. Oh. I was gonna, I was gonna make a false claim, but then I caught myself. <laughs> <laughs> but here we are, dude. Episode two hundred. You guys got me off the golf course. We're here talking about skating. <laughs> yeah, loving it. And this it's a good so, week. It, cool shit happened. So much cool shit. Let's start with the day one documentary by Trans World. Uh, please, guys, take it away. I actually just th- I watched this. An hour ago, probably. I hadn't yep. seen it. Um, I knew we were doing the show today. Had some time. So I was like, okay, like now that I have the time to watch it, got to get around to it. Um, and I really enjoyed it. I think the, the couple things that I took away the most that just stood out to me was, I think it's cool how he has like different eras, like how they explained it. Like, this is like his rock era. And like, <laughs> <laughs> like we're just skates a bunch of rocks. Era. And yeah, the table era. He's in the schoolyards. And all that time that he spent at the old world park was cool. Um, and obviously that's way, 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 way before I was in skateboarding at all involved in skate or a skateboarder, however you want to say it. Um, and so it's interesting to me cause I wouldn't even, I mean, obviously I've heard plenty of world, world park stories, but mm-hmm. thinking back to those old times, I, w- I don't really think about like there being private parks. I mean, I would assume that's pretty much was the only one. Um, but that seems more of a thing that got popular in the past, like five or 10 years, obviously with like the barracks, people's park, Paul had a park, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was cool to see footage of him in there and Daniel Castillo talking about all their lifelong stories, um, and just everything he did. It was, it was really cool. I really enjoyed it. And it's cool. Cause I think it was put together to where, uh, someone that is not even a skateboarder could enjoy that. I wonder why they did a documentary on him at this time of his this time at this point in his career was he retiring like why why i think well i think in my opinion first of all i think that it was a good idea to have grant go first to express his opinion because he only knows not i shouldn't say well you only grew up with so many versions of day one well on the other hand we've seen like little day one all the way till now day one you know what i mean Mm -hmm. so like i think that's rad to have grant like talk about day one's impact as far as on his generation in comparison to like you know us old guys and guys even older than us mm. yeah what's that right what, what do you what are your thoughts on him recording the supposedly documenting the first hard flip i have no idea um i think that's cool i mean it's gotta be like one of those dudes back then that were whipping their boards around doing crazy shit right like mm-hmm. none of that none of that surprises me but uh, back to what Grant was saying, as far as like the eras, that was like my favorite thing because I remember them all. Oh, okay. What was that? So that's that's my favorite part because it's like I remember all of those like happening when they happened. I only knew so my favorite personally was uh, picnic table day one. Exactly. That's that's my. That's my. That's the day one that I picture in my head for sure. My first video was day one versus Rodney two. Fucking video is so good, especially dude. Not I shouldn't say especially, but Day One's part in that is fucking awesome. For some reason, I really like Rodney's song. Oh that, yeah, for sure. Matri- Everyone does that Matrix song. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know what cracked me up in this was when they had Tori talking. And they like have him talking as he's like backtailing for his like super long backtail. <laughs> and at the end of the backtail, I was like, okay, now I have to pop out. <laughs> and then it cuts to the actual backtail. You know, I haven't heard Retta's voice in a long time. It reminds me of like the old Wednesdays of Retta and Skate video game days. Yeah. It, it's like, it, it, like it, it's nice to hear. I wish. Mm-hmm. He was such a big thing in those skate games. So he made that, that was so dope. It was. And he even had the barracks logo in the third one with the camera and everything. Yeah, you're so right. <laughs> I know I try to stick the day one, but I still crack up when when he almost fought that fought that what was a security guard? In a, oh my god, in that's so funny. Yeah, <laughs> was it a security guard or just some random dude? I forget, man. It might. Oh, I think it was a guy. security guard. I think you're right. No, you're totally right. You know, I was surprised most to see Rocco agreed to do the interview. I haven't heard from him in years. Years. 
And I thought it was odd he wanted to see Rodney and, and Daywon. I, I'm sure he was joking, but he said, I, I actually want to see Rodney and Daywon actually fight with, like, weapons. I was like, yeah, that, that was kind of a weird thing. I was like, that's I thought that was awesome. weird too. Why do, why do we, why are you even here, Steve? Like, get the fuck out of here. He's awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you like him? All I hear is uh, bad, yeah. all I hear is bad shit about that guy. I've never met him. I don't really know much about him. I just think World Industries was such a monumental thing to my skating life that I just, it's, I kind of just, um, really? You I, know? Didn't, I didn't know that. I just, my first board. Uh, Wet Willie or Flame Boy? Uh, Flame Bow. He was dressed like Rainbow or Rambo, I mean. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Flame Bow. Yeah, was awesome. <laughs> yeah oh. it was sick as fuck. That was I thought also that it was funny that they had the Kareem and and Daniel Castillo with the white power ad. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Um Oh wait oh yeah, please tell me. I'd love to get both your thoughts. What do you make of Colin Kennedy trying to tell Daywan not to flip in and flip out of shit? Like make the make the trick duller or don't don't do his difficult shit. I, I that's, that's the first time I ever heard of a filmer saying that shit. I've never heard of that happening before either. That seems crazy. Yeah. I thought it was cool, honestly. Like I mean, obviously day one's gonna do what he wants to do at the end of the day. And um but I thought it was tight, like especially hearing Colin's perspective of like what day one would do after he would actually get his clip or like his warm up stuff and how Colin thought that was so cool. Um and so to kind of just film some of that stuff was rad and and I get it, like, Daywan being someone that's super tech, like, probably has the craziest tricks in his mind, and, like, that's what he wants to do. But it's cool sometimes to see, like, a really tech dude um, do more simplified tricks. Like, even his ender that they talked about in Skate More, that switch nose mani that he sits forever and then goes into that super steep bank. Like, Daywan, that wasn't even something Daywan, like, wanted to film. Like, he thought it was weird that he wasn't flipping his board. But that clip, when I think of Daywan, that's, like, up there. It's one of the first clips I think of. You, like that is so gnarly. That's so odd to me that you think it's cool that Colin wanted to nullify his skateboarding. But yeah, I think I it's think cool. That's... I think it's cool. Like when you see, like, like if you talk about Shane O'Neill, like that can do any crazy but, ledge trick. I mm-hmm. think it's tight to see Shane do like sometimes more of a simple trick because he can do it so easy that it looks so good, but it's still a hard trick. He also does do like really fucked up ledge tricks, though. Mm-hmm. I know. Yeah, he does. I'm not saying he doesn't like regularly. I know, but I'm saying it's cool to see him do simple stuff too. Yeah, that's true. It, I, I thought, know. I, I disagree, you know, but... I really, you know, take my tip my cap to day one for sharing his more personal life with his divorce and how he was living out of cars and hotels. I was, um, I'm sure that that was, uh, not the most. I'm, you know, I'm sure he's living happier now, but you know, that's it's interesting when you have to go back to those. No, I don't know if you want to call them dark days, but more personal, embarrassing moments. Yeah. Considering, like, all I hear about, like, Daywan's, like, he seems to be, from what I hear from other people, he's extremely shy, private. Uh, I guess it, I, I, some skateboarder told me, like, he was at the demo and he was all, like, by himself in the corner. Like, he doesn't like to skate in front of other people, too. So. I went to an Adidas thing, and I, I remember him there because it was in San Diego, and Daywan knows June and Billy, and mm-hmm. they all wanted to get like a back to back. So I filmed them all do a back to back. Um, but I don't. Other than that, I don't remember Daywan skating too much at that. But it was like it was the last stop of I think a long trip. And honestly, there was like two Adidas dudes skating. The rest of them were just like you could tell they were just Burned smoked out. from like the week or two long that they've been mm-hmm. traveling. Um, and that was the only time I've ever talked to Daywan, but he was so nice. Like, I only talked to him for a second because he was like, oh, can you film this or, like, hold my whatever while he skated for a sec to film the back-to-backs? And he was so cool. And, like, he was, like, thanking Billy and June for, like, do- filming this little back-to-back thing. And they were like, why are you, <laughs> like, why are you thanking us? Like, thank you for, get- like, doing this. Like, he was just so nice to everyone. It was Your sick. day one song. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know that circle thing at the end of the film where it, he got his, uh, he got a, a Thrasher crop? Oh, no, a Transworld cover? Transworld cover. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I corrected myself. I, I know this is a Transworld uh, documentary. I thought it was funny. He said, like, I really filmed it on that one, the lower one. <laughs> <laughs> they just photoshopped me up there. I said, <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, mother... Maybe they did. <laughs> yeah. They can do some crazy shit these days. 
That's cool though, because that spot, like, there's not many people that would skate that or that would be able to get a cover photo skating that thing. You know. Mm-hmm. What did he do? He He's, like he like put his hand on like right on, on his board, board for a second. Yeah, like pushes like a it back hand down. Wally or something like that. Yeah, I don't I don't know what he calls it, but yeah, what do you call that thing? <laughs> the day one hand plant. Day one, <laughs> day one plant. Hey, what's day your guy's favorite day one part? Probably round two. No, definitely round two. Let's be real. His cheese and cracker stuff, like it, that is I, awesome. I that Good choice. <laughs> I, like, the site. I like round three. Round three is awesome. It's a totally different day. That's like rock day one. That's that that semi rock day one. You know, I call that call yep. that I call that uh, semi trucker day one. Mm-hmm. He's got like long hair and wears button up flannels and shit with the with the with the highlights you know yeah yeah uh, day one's picnic this was this was i actually really really enjoyed this this was tight john man john delo john jordan jack Curtin, felipe gustavo tori puds mike uh, miles silva yeah it was a heavy lineup yeah i wish i was there man child why didn't you go you're busy school it was they did it on mother's day Oh yeah, I, I, all those guys, all those guys are fucked up. All Miles, guys, as well. all you guys dis- disrespecting your mothers, how dare you? <laughs> yeah, so I I went to go see my. I wonder family, how many but... people had their mom there with them. Zero. I don't know. Maybe I wonder. Maybe Daywan's mom was there. Dude, I can't even believe Miles switched heel front crook. That table's so perfect, like. His, yeah, he switched awesome. yield and his board was sitting there, like just waiting for his feet. To, like it was his board was it, like if he wasn't there, his board was ready to front crook. It was just all yeah. he needed was a little bit of weight. Like it was literally on the right toe side of his truck, like just just waiting for him to. Mm-hmm. It was the best switch yield front crook. Yeah, he's done the that on table. Of, but, yeah, the lineup of dudes is what impressed me the most. It's like, how am I supposed to not watch this video? Yeah. yeah, they got they got a good good list they of got dudes. A good list of dudes. I think John outshined everyone in my I, opinion. I agree with you. That his, that dude his, is wow. Yeah, his his switch Manny switch flip out, and then when they put it sideways, he does this <laughs> the he does a switch front side heel flip. Hey. Dude, yeah. switch front heel over it was so good, so good. Yeah. Miles switched back Miles, did, I know, great. I know. Miles had to say, "Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me. I can't be. I can't." Be, he said, "Let me get that switch back here real quick." Speaking of John, did you happen to notice that uh, that like he went to um, what you call distribution and to get um, Ben Raymer's shape and to put like almost graphics over it, and then he like it's, scraped it off, and you can still see the Ben Raymer's name underneath it. No, mm-hmm. I didn't know that. Look at yeah. his Instagram page. It's super sick. So he, yeah, he skated that contest Instagram. with a with an enjoy board. Not, not not that contest, but right now he's out in London, and oh, for he Street posted. He, yeah, he's not in it, but there's like a bunch of qualifying contests, and I, I don't know what he's doing exactly, but he's out there, and he posted it on a story the other day, and it's an almost board, but it was scraping it. You could see Ben Raymer's name, and I was like, what? I don't even. Know. How is this happening? I don't get this. And then he made a post, and it was like went to Dwindle last week, and the um like dwindle oh, yeah, product dude was like oh like the shape you've been skating similar to ben's like try these boards and so they took ben Raymer's enjoy boards and printed almost graphics over them and then he scraped like the graphic off a little bit so like on the nose of his board it says ben Raymer's, but it's still a, all, like the rest of graphics almost which is tight i thought that That's was interesting super cool. that, you, that, could, so that you could do that over graphics you would think that that wouldn't work i mean it makes sense i've seen it before yeah when yeah you put I've graphics on graphics as well yeah, I've seen I've seen people just do for that. like quick quick what they're like exactly what he was trying to do. He was just trying to get something quick boards. He wanted to go on a trip, but he wanted to have almost boards. You know what I mean? Mm. So yeah. that's what it seems that, like that to actually me. Sounds kind of fun to do. Like if you scrape off, like if you skate once over one graphic, it kind of makes like a. Yeah, it probably looks crazy. You know well, what it's else? Like, it's it like those me? scratch and sniffs. You just you get a different. <laughs> Well, that's the thing. Like, Real and Crooked have done that. And I'm sure other brands too, but I just remember Reels was pretty recent. I think Davis had a board where, like, there's a graphic under the actual graphic. Mm-hmm. So, like, when you skate it, you see a, another graphic under it. You know, one thing I forgot to talk about is, uh, you know, his signature, John Delo. He does that. Uh, he does. Uh, he always he always goes off a ma- into a manual. Mm-hmm. So, he does a switch manny. Uh, what is it? 
Switch Ollie over the table to switch Manny on the ground, then switch flip out. Switch flips out. I, lo- I love how he does that shit. So That's sick. That's literally his thing. So much like, control. Now when, I see, now when I see other people doing it, I'm like, oh, they're doing the John D'Lo mm-hmm. type shit. Yeah, that's it's so his. sick. Did you this see- is an amateur skateboarder. Yeah. This is a guy that's been four or five different sponsors, dude. Mm-hmm. Like, insane, right? That's what I was trying to come back to. Like, I feel like if Almost is going, you know, out of their way to print graphics for him so he can go on a trick trip to have Almost boards, I think that's a really good sign for a brand that's fucking with you, right? Yeah, I think Almost is the. I think that's gonna be like he really got. I think got that's home the home. Now. Yep, I agree. I'm I'm getting that vibe as well. Yeah, I don't think there was. I don't think he would have stopped skating the enjoy boards unless Almost was a a better offer for him personally. I totally agree. I also think that being on a team with Eunice and um, uh, uh, what's his Yuri is like not a bad look either. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You see that he won twenty five hundred. You won oh. five. You won two twenty fives. Where? John? Are you sure? At yes. What for what? He won the skating over the table, I think, with the switch front heel. And then he won skating on the table for like manual tricks. So everybody for switch everybody switch that flip? almost won was uh was on Adidas, right? Except for Deshaun. Yeah, Deshaun won the uh, bump to bench, like the normal Lockwood setup. Uh, what did he and do? Then he did an ollie front heel nose. front nose. It's something else, too. Yeah, no, a couple saw. tricks. Yeah. Uh, Niels Bennett won the final section, like how he had those crazy benches set up, which honestly, maybe they just weren't trying to have John win three of them. I mean, <laughs> Niels did so many tricks, but John knows Manny, Nolly to knows Manny, up the, like, up the oh, table, the, Nolly the over the gap, knows me down, Nolly flip out. Like that was probably gnarly trick to go down in that section, but Neil. What if they him. gave him three? That's so heavy. <sighs> and then he I shot think the Miles, shit down. With Miles three. got four grand, for like over overall. Yeah, overall. Winner and I was like, I was like, yeah, I mean, yeah, I was thinking the same thing. I was like, give it the G, give it the JD. <laughs> what are you guys fucking Dude, around for? We go guys, home with seven G. I don't know. They're just like, hey, we better. That's get... tight. Neil's Neil's tight. Neil's pff, Neil's is super tight. But, he killed you know, it. With that I didn't. Band. I didn't know that D'Lo was a abbreviated version of his name. <laughs> yeah, D. Lorenzo. Yeah, he's I got a shredded card. I oh, I didn't know that until I saw his. Uh, damn, I haven't heard of shredded card in forever. Jesus Christ, that's your yeah, just I, Damn, yeah, I'm glad glad that hit you the way it hit me. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> shredded card. <laughs> Those were that's so true. awesome. They were sick. Yeah, I think... always show like Jeremy Rogers fucking meme face. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so funny. Jay- it was cool at the beginning. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry, Drew. No, go ahead. no, I was going to transition out. So if you got some, oh. just time to say it. Just about shredded cards, real quick. I I remember when it first started, like that the money originally was like gift cards to skate park of Tampa, which I thought was super tight. Yup, dude. I, my homie Sean was on there. Sean Turner was on there, and he won money oh, yeah. for that. He was like super, super stoked because they have like everything, you know. Yeah, uh, I can't remember. remember. They give you he money. Won for, a like, good split. amount, though. Yeah, M- more than three hundred. Yeah. I can't remember. To be I feel honest. like I remember it being like one to two hundred, but yeah, I genuinely can't remember. Shredded. He's got a good card. one wow. though. That's <laughs> good shredded time. card. Good baby. times. All right. I remember when we first were having uh, when we first had John on the show the first time. I was doing my homework and like looking up all of his shit. And I noticed that, and I was like, I I had to bring it up, dude. There's uh-huh. something in the first interview we do with them, we talk about the shredded cards for sure. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I just don't remember what or what was said or when in yeah, the interview. I, I, I thought they were giving him, like, a nickname, like a man-child. I was like, what the fuck is D'Lo <laughs> Renzo? They gave, the they gave him the fucking <laughs> card. I was like, what the, the fuck? The big check. I know, they gave him the big-ass check. I was like, what the fuck is this? I don't know. <laughs> I, I actually Googled the name. His name is D'Lo Renzo. Dino. Yeah, he's sick. James Caps on Chocolate. They did a uh, chocolate released a small commercial with the chocolate team skating. What was that? It was like a ditch and some banks, right? Is that what that? What would you yeah, it's in Vegas. Is there a name that of that shit. place? Uh, I don't know the name of that spot. Mm. Fame is oh, Vegas. Oh, I've though. seen it for sure. Is that like a yeah. Vegas? He's oh. like a Vegas guy. James, no. They, the chocolate went on a trip out there. Sure. I thought it was yeah. appropriate that they had like a. Like a 
like a guy that's been on the team, Vincent Alvarez skate, then the new guy, Quack Quack mm-hmm. Ducksworth, Hakeem Ducksworth, and then they <laughs> and then they they bring in the fresh new blood, just kind of yeah. lay out the red carpet. Yeah, yeah. the backside flip a, was awesome. It was a, it was. I love that backside flip. But I see, yeah, I, awesome. like, I want to get your guys' thoughts because I feel like it's it seems underwhelming compared to when Hakeem had his in, his introduction. Would you guys? Yeah, like oh, yeah. Part, I mean. Though? Because yeah. he had like a part, you know. It's, yeah, yeah, I mean, Hakeem had the welcome part. I think for James, I mean, my assumption there's definitely been talk about chocolate uh, working on a video, so probably just letting James save probably all his save stuff that for that. Shit. But what about Hakeem? Yeah. You think he was just stacking up footy, huh? You think he had maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe he had a bunch, or maybe they just, I don't know, for whatever reason they wanted to do maybe that. Maybe they him. pulled the old uh, use his sponsor me tape as his welcome part. Hmm, the old, uh, the old uh, Antoine Dixon, huh? The old I Antoine know for... Dixon. It's not the only guy we've heard that about. You know what I mean? That's definitely happened multiple times. Sure. Yeah, Chris Jocelyn. For sure. Mm-hmm. James has been getting chocolate boards for a long time. I was going to ask that next. Yeah, he's been, I am uh, not he's been familiar. A... I'm going to be totally honest. Okay. Yeah, he's been flow for a minute. Where's he but from? But good for him. Uh, I don't know where James is from, actually. Hmm. That's okay. I don't know. Vegas, I guess. I don't think he's from Vegas. No, I know that that clip was from a trip out there. That they, all, I know he stays out in L.A. now, but I actually I don't remember where he's from. Let's redirect the our photo. Oh, that oh, go ahead. Backs flip. Sorry, the photo of that backs up so good. Like it looks. Oh, like I haven't seen the. Spot. I haven't seen the snap snap yet. Where's that at? Yeah, I think I think it might have been in Thrasher or some. Hmm. Yeah. Well, no, backs that flip was sick. Okay. Uh, let's head uh, up to the northwest, up to over there by Seattle. May fourth, they had uh, they had the Witch Hunt 2019, their fourth annual Witch Hunt. Um, those of you who aren't familiar with Witch Hunt, uh, as a uh, I wasn't, Mike, Mike, this year for this year, have you heard of this uh, event before? Yeah, we covered. Well, we, I shouldn't say covered it. We talked about it last year. Mm. Yeah, it's like a king of the road for women, and uh, believe it or not, uh, Amanda Castillo told me. Uh, that uh, it was once called Queen of the Road. Oh, oh really? that's sick. Yeah. That's... Yeah, it was, uh, it's where you break up. And uh, so it happens during the Wheel of Fortune. Mm-hmm. And it's uh, an event that they have there. They break up into 10 groups and come up with names and rules with challenges. Uh, some of the challenges are like crushing watermelon with your thighs, like <laughs> doing kickflips <laughs> and snow boots. Uh, this, uh, this, uh, chick, she got a, she got a tattoo of Ryan Sheckler's last name on her shoulder blade. Uh, her name Terrible is Cor- idea. Cor- uh, Courtney Newberg. Hey, anything for 10 points, baby. <laughs> Whatever you got to do. You know, what's hilarious. You know what I was a little bummed on was not what? bummed on, but it would have been cool. I mean, maybe they have this coming out. It would have been cool if we actually saw footage of like they sent filmers with the different groups, you know, like. I mean, I get that it's like King of the Road, but that. I feel like there wasn't. Okay, yeah, they're I working on that, that stuff. Must... Yeah, and I th- yeah. Thrasher said that you'd be able to. Uh, they're going to have a poll. Yeah. Sick. So, oh, I, so like vote to vote. Yeah, that's tight. Mm-hmm. That's tight. Yeah. Random question. Yeah, I, please. No, I've done. I've done a little bit of research on this. It's kind have of, uh, stuff. since since they did it, and you just mentioned it. Have you ever tried to skate in snowboard boots? No, why? What? I don't even know anyone with snowboard boots. If I did, I'd Dude, throw them at their face. Why? Billy, Billy came back from a snowboarding trip like some point last year. Or I don't know. He did snowboard stuff in his car. Uh-huh. And we were at a spot, and then we were like, we're leaving the spot, but didn't know where we were going yet. And we put on his snowboard boots, and we're trying to skate flat, and it's so hard. It feels crazy. These girls did it. And one of them did it with Dude, like I a mean, – One of them did it with like some uh, like some old oh, – I forgot what they call that thing. I forgot. I don't know women's clothing. Dude, it's like <laughs> the the boots are off. It's like a They're nighty. So... She did it in a nighty. A nighty. <laughs> like a what does that mean? What is a nighty? It's like it's like skimpy clothing. I know exactly man. what you're talking about. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, the boots are so Grant, stiff. Grant like hasn't taken off enough clothes yet to experience a nighty. <laughs> <laughs> I have no clue what a nighty is, but <laughs> skate flat ground in the snowboard boots is crazy. Yeah. Uh, it was cool to see uh, Stella Reynolds is there. She was skating. That's rad. Yeah, really that's cool. super. Tight. Nora, Nora Vasconcelos was there. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh, here's the names. Some of the, these are I like some of these names. Uh, We're gay, Vipers, uh, Ladies of Leisure, 
tough and tender. <laughs> the shitheads. Uh, sc- <laughs> scrambo. Oh, and one of them was like yeast infection, but they put parentheses, parentheses around the Y, so it looks like an ass for some titties. Uh, Yoda Yoda oh. Babes was a cool name. And my favorite was the Skate Witches. And the photo, of the, <laughs> the, the girls, of some of the Skate Witches had like, uh, had denim vests and it said Skate Witches on the back. One of the girls had a broom as a grip tape. I thought it was pretty weird. <laughs> isn't that like, isn't that like that, uh, Gosh, skate witches. That's like a big, not big, but like a pretty well known girl group, right, Grant? Uh, I don't know. Is is do they put on that event? Because it's called I the Witch Hunt, right? I think she's Breeziana. I think Breeziana's in that one. Yeah, she's from like the Seattle area or spent time Word. there or whatever. So mm. yeah, yeah, it probably is. Yeah, yeah. That girl, like an, yeah, yeah, she's, she's real good. good. Yeah. I think there's another like big girl name that's in that one as well. Sick. Yeah, cool, cool event. I can't wait to see some of the edits. Yeah, that's that. super sick. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's about it. Did you guys have anything to add to that? Before we talk about Frank Shaw's shrunken head, you ran through that pretty good. That's oh. all I would, all oh. I would say. Okay, tranny guy, uh, <laughs> tranny guy, the shrunken wall head. rides and tranny, shrunken head skateboards. Never heard of them. Me neither. Oh, this is this is probably their debut. You know the thing. The biggest thing I took away from this is uh, that long fifty fifty. That yeah. was tight. Yeah, and you got so close that you could see because the he had the shields popped off that the wheels were still spinning really fast when he was grinding. That was rad. I'd say he whips those five forties around. That's for damn sure. <laughs> he reminds Jeez. me. He reminds me of Grant Taylor with stylish tranny skating. Shit. You don't think so? More like Bob Byrne quest. <laughs> <laughs> doing the burn. Hey, you remember? You remember what? Dreamland, Drew? I was hyped on Bob that, Bob Mike. Dreamland? I was so hyped on that. Yeah, uh, fucking Frank. I uh, remember when Drew lost his mind over Dreamland. I, I didn't even. I, think we all I, lo- I lost. Did, I lost my mind when I found it. out it was old footage. Yeah, Drew thought yeah. that just dropped. <laughs> no, I For real, that video is crazy, though. Sorry oh, to God, talk about Bob, but Bob, it. like, why? Hey, would we're here you... to talk about Frank Shaw. What are you doing switching the helicopter? The yeah, go to Frank. Frank's front fifty was tight. Yeah, that that was the everything else. It's uh, you know, it's pretty much, pretty much just really fancy technical, uh, vert stylish skating or uh, training skating, I should say. In the pool, ripping around. Yeah, mm-hmm. I liked it. It was cool. Yeah. New Balance Numerics London four forty video. <laughs> so all their all their shoes, all their shoes are. What are you cracking? What are you cracking up about over there, Grant? Oh. I'm just excited. I love to talk about oh, Tom Knox. Oh, oh, go ahead, take away, brother. Talk about Tom K or Tom Tom Knox. I don't want to mix them two up. I was <laughs> no, thinking that in my notes. I was like, I can't call him Tom K. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. that's weird. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, because yeah, and there's two Tom Knoxes. Oh, there is there? Is. I didn't. Where's the? Who's oh the yeah, there's like, like an old the OG one. On the oh, yeah. oh, you're right. There yeah. is an OG one. It's like an Alex um, Olson. Yeah, but uh, yeah. So, bad. so yeah. To answer your question, that I think you were gonna ask, yeah, all their all their shoes shoe styles are different numbers. That's like New Balance in general, not just the skate shoes. they all their shoes are numbers. Um, this edit, I was hyped on this edit because I mean, Tom Knox is one of my favorites. Jordan Trahan, I think, is someone that more people need to be aware of or see him skate because he skates so good, has so much pop, which he shows in this edit. Um. It was quick. It was like a minute and a half, but it was straight to it. Just clips the whole time. The, all the spots right are super cool. A lot of them look hard to skate, but those dudes killed it. And um, I mentioned this last week when we were talking about the April edit, but 4x3 HD footage looks really cool to me, especially on like whatever camera this is or, and whatever Kev uses. Like Those setups look tight. And uh, I just I really like the way the footage looks. It kind of just gives some extra flavor to it, I think. And just to verify, and, you're talking about when you're talking about four by three, you're talking about zoomed in HD footage. Yeah, it's like cropped, like like you know VX footage you watch on YouTube has the black bars. Mm-hmm. It, those black you bars like, on HD. Like, footage. So but, you're just talking about black bars on HD footing. Yes, but I think that it needs to be done with like a certain camera. I don't know what those dudes oh, film you, with, but oh, you're telling me not you can't do it like with any a, camera. I, yeah, I don't, I don't think so, or I don't think it would look good. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know the the colors and like the crispiness of that footage looks really cool to me. Um, and yeah, Tom Knox obviously did what he does, and so did Jordan. They skate crazy spots. Um, the blunt side and the back three off, like 
him and Tom Knox and Niels Bennett own that spot. Like those dudes kill it. They have killed that spot. I like these like short one minute twenty two second skateboard edits. Like that's that that would, we need more of that in skateboarding. I feel not just like a little longer than an Instagram. If you're gonna make a if you're gonna make See, like that a, was that was that's my my argument right there is that I don't want anything less than two and a half minutes. I'd say. Oh yeah, because you I want feel like more? I could just get that. For, yeah, I could just get that on Instagram. Even even on an ad though. No, hell no. I think that an ad, yeah, what you were saying is like even then sometimes it, it depends what kind of ad. I guess like it's a, it's like a little skit or something or mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like so I'm a big weekend, fan of a that. weekend skit. <laughs> they are I mean they're not like they're not the first to do it, but I think that in today's skating world, I think they're the best doing it for sure. Mm. Yeah. To me, I think it's cool in the sense that like this is a little longer than a minute, but they easily can, and they did cut some clips out, shorten it, and put it on Instagram so they can use it there, and they have like an extended version online. Um, mm-hmm. I, I mean, like on YouTube or whatever Vimeo. Mm-hmm. But as far as YouTube edits, I, I, like especially under a minute, if there's a video under one minute on YouTube, I'm not clicking on it. It's mm-hmm. just like I'm, I probably is out on Instagram. If a company's posting a, a forty second oh, thing, on YouTube, I get what you're it's saying, for sure yeah. on their Instagram. Like I probably already saw it. I get but, what you're saying. Yeah, hmm. you're not wrong. You're probably dead right. I but don't speaking know, of it, go ahead. No disrespect to Jordan Trahan, but uh, what's his face? Fucking stole the show there. Tom Knox is the best. He's the fucking so best at- out there right now, dude. He's he's pure. He's good. He's the good shit. <laughs> he's, he's undeniable. Is. <laughs> dude, he's, he's the so undeniable sick. fire, man. I'm telling you. I know uh, Joe Face had one of those Slap Pals questions. I don't know if you guys have seen those. but um, And it, it, someone asked him about like a Dickies video, and Joe said that they're working on something. They'll, they'll see what it turns into. But I sure hope that Tom Knox, we just get a lot of him in whatever edit or whatever they're working on. I just want more Tom Knox. Yeah, like Tom Knox, please stay healthy. We see we see a lot of him, but a lot the mainly the stuff we see now, and it doesn't bug me. It's a lot of like montage stuff, like we see him in the Atlantic Drifts or New Balance stuff like this, which yeah, it's great. I, I love seeing him. Awesome, but it's, it makes me more excited for like something to drop where i just see his name and just him for three minutes like i can't wait for mm-hmm. that yeah and he's had parts in the past but just just a tom right. knox you want right to yeah you want to update a tom knox part right sure Woo. okay all right he is the shit man he is the shit i'm, I'm gonna talk that way free. see what you're saying is i'm gonna talk about another skateboarder just like that but i'm gonna save it mm-hmm. uh there's two spots that they skated that i really liked about that they had in london is that there's this one spot where they have like a ledge to gap and there's a tree right next to it I really like that mm-hmm. spot. And then the the shootout into the street. Remember, yeah. kids, whenever there's a street, get your spotter. <laughs> What's that one dude who almost died? I don't know. There's there's more than one. Unfortunately, in skateboarding, there's more than one. Got like blue hair now. Uh, oh, Cody Davis? Cody Davis. Ah, oh, you nailed it. Yeah, granted that reel into the street. I just don't get it. Like, I, I don't know why you're crazy shit. I just don't know why you would want to land into the street and you don't have someone looking for cars. That just doesn't make know, sense to me. Especially because person. he had so many people there. I, that may never make sense. I've skated spots. Yes. Everyone has skated spots That's into the, the street. That's the number one thing. That's like you had so many people there. It's not like he just had like, you know, one person. Mm-hmm. Have you guys seen uh, this NASA Habitat collaboration? I did. Have you, Mike? I have not. Please let me sell you on it, man. All the boards have a top graphic with an astronaut with the wood grain makes it look like they're in outer space. That sounds rad. That's, I'm totally going to look at that, it's honestly. so rad, bro. I it love sounds that. cool. I love that top graphic. Have you noticed that too, Grant? I haven't seen the top graphic, actually. Oh, please go to HabitatSkateboards.com. And that's all you're going to see. Oh, and it's really I see rad. it now. It's really rad to see... Um, um, like if you just look at their main website, the NASA, like how nerdish they got with it, or with, like the wind tunnel. I don't even know what the hell that is. Like, are they playing like space puzzles? Like, I don't know what the hell that is. <laughs> this is, it's a trip though. Like NASA, 
<laughs> they they Man, collaborate they with sick. fucking NASA, bro. <laughs> that is crazy. You know what I they think is tight cool. too? That, isn't is... that top graphic sick? Look at that thing. Yeah, and then the, oh yeah, the sick really thing about rad. it too is um just for our viewers listening is that they get the habitat logo in the center of the spacesuit. I fucking Oh, they do. These look fucking dope. I fucking back that. That's that is cool. So rad. I like That's this, crazy. Crazy collab. This Marius one is really cool. You know what? Um, yeah. What's tight? Oh, what I wanted to say was, I mean, we see a lot of like crazy collabs these days, with, especially oh. the board brands recently. Like Primitive is probably at the top of that, and Santa Cruz. Um, 100%. And oh, honestly, good. like yeah. most of those, I, I I personally don't care for. Like collaborating with Dragon Ball Z or or a, mm-hmm. the soy sauce company. Like I I, like I don't care. Ball. Right, personally, right, because I I don't watch those yeah, shows but, or but you know, there's I don't a care about skate. Yeah, but that's the thing is that you just they you just sell it. Yeah, no, they sell. I get it. You just but I personally don't, just don't care. You're not a fan of it. But, I mean, not, yeah. I don't know if you're a fan or not, but you don't watch that stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But NASA, like these boards, look cool to me. And am I a fan of NASA? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't. Care. I'm not, I, like, I don't, not a fan of them. <laughs> I, I don't know. I know nothing about. You don't know nothing about space. They go to space, <laughs> but these boards look tight to me. Like, and I don't know if I'd say. I mean, I guess at the end of the day, it's like, yeah, they're just putting some like space graphics in the dude's name. I don't know how involved these are, but right. cool this, art though. Yeah, yeah, the art's super cool. But I was just gonna yeah. say, like, I don't know if it's. I don't know. Like you can maybe make a case like the Rick and Morty ones or something are like the same thing. But I don't know. To me, like this is cooler. I don't know if these dudes were more involved or the same as involved as the primitive dudes are in this. But I don't know. To me, it's cool. And there's a lot of board collabs that come out nowadays that aren't cool, in my opinion. I, I wonder how you so get. Random. I wonder how you get such a high profile, you know, operation like NASA entity. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I don't know how that works. Uh, you just. Hi, oh, let thinking, me ring them up. Yeah, let me let me just call NASA real quick. Oh, they're in space today. Can you hit me up? Can you hit me up? Habitat. You know who does to... the most random ones? That, not random, but like the most like other than Supreme, obviously. Like Diamond does like the most random shit. They do some crazy ones. I know they as did like as collapse go. Yeah, they go wild. They're about to do one. Actually, this is weird. I sh- am I gonna get in? Like, oh no, I'll be all right. Well, like, I know somebody who, like, works at Corona, and they're about to do a collab with Corona. Oh, wow. Like, how fucking random is that? Huff did Budweiser. Yeah, but Huff is, like, some beer-drinking-ass fucking shit, though. Like, they've been doing, like, beer logo stuff and yeah, cigarette logo stuff for Thanks for touching on that, for, because for I, feel like, uh, I feel like Habitat and Space couldn't be any more opposite. You got, kind of, you got you got really like pretty artsy you, and no, 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 shit. No, hear me out. Yeah. No, I'm talking about like really like when I think of Habitat, I think like primal wood, kind of like element, <laughs> like woods, leaves, grass, and you got mini like, ramp in the woods, and then and then you got ET. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great! I don't know. Yeah. This Josh Matthews one is the sickest one out of all of them. I think. Oh, let me tell you, my one favorite out. one over me, there. Oh, not Josh, my favorite, but he's awesome. Josh uh, posted some clips like he, they filmed a little ad for for the NASA thing, and oh they he did. did Thanks. It's like really yeah. simple, but he did a kickflip manual front one eighty, mm-hmm. which awesome. isn't like the craziest Manny, but he did it so good. Like he, he, did, he had the Kenny whole Anderson front effect. Out of manual looks great. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's Kenny. It's just like Kenny. He, he like just, just, Josh is the dude that make a simple trick look great. Yeah. he's awesome. Yeah, I love I, 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 I love I, this this collab. I think you know, it's weird that we like Holy it shit. so much. This is like a I random just, topic that we like so much. I know, but you know what? I like it too. When in the history of skateboarding did you see a top graphic was better than the bottom graphic? Uh, Kyle Walker's Sody board. Yeah, his Sody, the top graphic was so tight. The top graphic was a champagne bottle popping, but the bottom of it was. What was the bottom of it? Just said like Sody or whatever. It had his name and like Sody and. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, I missed that. But one. I remember the champagne bottle looks so sick. I remember. Texting Jim about that and being like, "Man, we got to get a board of just this champagne bottle popping, bro." Oh, you know what else? I don't remember what real board this was on, but one of the graphics they had a top sheet, and I liked the graphic too. But the top graphic, I wish was the normal graphic. It had a bunch of hearts. I think it was the favorite skater once. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, I was just, I was yeah, really just gonna say, it was like blue or green with hearts. Like, Yo, that's so tight. Like, 
I get hyped on yeah. top graphics sometimes. <laughs> top graphics are sick. I wish I would have gotten more of those. I skated a uh, Cardiel one. Those sick. No. That's t- I got Reynolds up there on the wall. Wish I would have gotten more of them though. The Lucas one is sick. Oh, we get to talk about my favorite topic: the Bones Wheels Sacred Geometry video. That was your favorite topic of this week, yeah. Mm-hmm. Why is sell me on it? I watched it, but sell me on it for the favorite topic. Uh, it's pretty fucking rad. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. I mean, the list of names that were in that video. <laughs> I'm not sold. All the all the McClungs. You got Jaws. Song was sick. I don't understand. Yeah, song was cool. But you know, there was one thing I don't understand is that they didn't like they didn't have a name title for for Trevor McClung. That bothered. Yeah, me. they did. I think so. Watch it again, bro. What do you do? What do you do? Nolly backside flip down the stairs. He had like five. He had three tricks. I mean, three clips. Gotcha. I know Trent had a really sick line where he does like a nose grind pop out on a ledge. Kick flip nose grind pop out. Kick flip nose grind. I'm sorry. Yeah, kick flip nose grind where he popped out on the ledge. Perfect. And uh, I like uh, like that they got his props at the end. He was. He had the. He looked like Jabber Jaw. His teeth were shining. Yeah, he. I wonder why. I wonder why Trevor wouldn't get a, a name intro, Trevor McClung. I didn't I can't I can't recall missing that. That's strange. No. Yeah, that is weird. It dropped. I know Taylor got one because he's wearing mystery and and he has a mystery board. Uh-huh. Yeah, it was an older clip. I love when Yanni did the front crook to fake you on the back. Oh, he's they, so good. They had the they had the Rick Howard uh cheese in it in the corner. Yeah, he's <laughs> so good. Yanni's good, man. Yanni's that spot's tight. crazy. That bump to ledge, he switched slappy front crooks. The, yeah, that the, was tight. That spot's hard to skate. You always see the girl guys skate there. That spot? Yeah. Foy skated it recently, too. Foy did what, what Yanni did, but regular. And the Dickies edit. Oh, yeah? Okay. Mm-hmm. And then they, yeah. had, they had your boy Boo Johnson in there, too, Mike. I don't know him. You don't know him? You don't know? You, oh, my bad. <laughs> I thought I thought, I thought you are still on Dude. the just have fun kick. No, no, a lot of ended that sailed long ago. Oh, um, but yeah. however, that fifty-fifty was awesome. Wait, it wait. was. It looked scary. He was it locked pretty scary. crazy going down the first rail. Oh, I know. I could. And sell like the you bottom on it. of it looks sketchy. The TJ Rogers. Yeah, he killed it in Nike gear though. That's old footy. Yeah, that clip was super old. Super old. Uh, and then but Ryan, Ryan, like Ryan Ray closed it out. Ryan Reyes, where'd that come from? He looked like, it looked like every time he doesn't shave and then he does shave and there's like spaces in between, it looks like two completely different people. <laughs> His half cab tripped me out into that. Yeah, like, that all, is basically. wild. Me and my homies were just talking about this yesterday. So, like, how many attempts do you think that took, right? Because every single miss is a complete fucking splat into the ground. On you what the half cab? Like, yeah. If you're committing, yeah. <laughs> That's what I mean. Yeah, you're right. I mean, he yeah. could just like half cab and like kick his board out, and then he's like, oh, I'm going for this one, and then just did it. Maybe. Like, Maybe. Suppose. Yeah. It seems like but a yeah. strange route to take trying to get into a wall, like kicking out and kicking out, though. You know, I feel like you kind well, of just I fucking doubt that, that. I doubt that first one, he just took it into the wall. I'm sure he kicked a few. Yeah, That's true. That's probably why he always wears that knee brace. Yeah, I think That's he had he a. His knee all up. Yeah, I think he had a surgery. Yeah, I he believe. Did. Uh, Mike, I know you were hyped on the Ender. Yeah, that is insane. I mean this it, like that is gnarly. Don't get me wrong. I mean this like respect to Ryan, but I, I can't help. The first thing I thought of was Justin Damer did that, but he like front tail to ledge. Like he ollied into the front tail on the ledge and then went to the board side. Mm-hmm. And it just, I like watched Ryan's and I was like, it reminded me of Justin's, but I thought Justin's was better. Right. Like they were so similar, but I think Justin's was just more fluid, like w- with just one motion. Yeah. And he had Ollie uh, off of that ledge. But I yeah. mean, gnarly regardless. Yeah. But that was yeah, just Yeah, I was just going to say, I'm going to have to totally agree with you and the fact that I like the other one more, but this one is still fucking super sick. Mm-hmm. You know, I think you guys would like the more if you went to the elevator. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what he rolled away into? There's an elevator no, right there. I still no, like he, the you, Tanner his one. His homie like, was like the holding the elevator. I was like, is he supposed to go in that? Because he didn't go in there. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what the hell. Yeah. yeah. The Tanner one is still like my favorite, dude. 
What? The ten or what? The blunt to board slide. Oh yeah. That yeah, his like was more like traveling wild. sideways though, and like Ryan and Damer were like popping out, but like going down yeah, that's under the rail. That's true. But I guess yeah, I'm gonna Tanner. I'm gonna still group them in the same family though. Okay. <laughs> Cause that's yeah. some new shit. It's all I'm saying. It that's is some new yeah. shit. You're right. It would be cool to see someone like backtail a ledge like that and then gap front board. Man, that'd be fucking cool. We've kind of seen. Got it. Yeah, we've. Yeah, no shit. I'm gonna have to. Yeah, I'm gonna have to group a couple of people in there. You know, the same category. Even Chase on a handrail. <laughs> Fifty yeah. to front board was tight. Yeah, Chase. Chase does that. Hey, he's sick. Uh, we also got the the Huff CDMX video. We're still trying to figure out what CD means because we're pretty convinced that Mexico <laughs> was Austin even in this. Yeah, yeah, he wasn't only a clip or two him. though. I saw him like int- they showed him, but I didn't see him skating. I just saw a you know bunch of about, fucking. Do you, do you still call him Discount Dylan? No, no, Over he's there. he's outgrown that. I think. Oh, okay. He was had so far outgrown that when you gave it to him. I totally disagree. <laughs> I disagree with that. I yep. totally disagree. You can agree to disagree, but let's talk about. I mean, my favorite thing was every time uh, you guys were talking about Tom Knox. This, that's exactly how I feel about Tyler Bledsoe. Tyler Bledsoe, I yep. do. Oh my god! Can't, Especially can't get enough Bledsoe footy. Drew going into that bank like off the stairs to the left hand side. Yeah. Holy fucking shit! <laughs> yeah. He made that look so dope. Yeah, that backside flip, backside right? flip yeah. was insanely good. Yes. You know what I was psyched on was he did that backside flip, and I thought it was tight. And I was like, dude, it'd be rad if someone skated out of that bank up the set. And then they show it was Austin like went up it to board side to fifty on that little curb, oh, and then they show okay. Prober so like Barrio healed it. Comer Vale held up at like a Euro gap. That was super yeah. sick how they all skated that spot a different way. Mm-hmm. I didn't even realize that's that's where the Austin clip was. Yeah, I pretty sure Austin. I definitely Austin. remember that clip. Mm-hmm. What about that? I was psyched too. What about that 5 0 grind that he does like on that little, I don't know what you would call that, that platform oh. where he rolls into it? On the roof? Yeah. No, I guess it's a roof, huh? I guess you could call it. Yeah, that. it looked like it. Oh, you're talking about Tyler? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was insane. Well, Look I'm who just, he did it really, I'm really. I'm talking about Tyler. Too. Like, I'm sorry, I got horse blinders on. I don't see anybody else. I'm just, just Tyler. Yeah, you're oh. not wrong. That's how I was watching it. That's all I see is TB out there killing it. Uh huh. That's sick. Yeah. I was vintage psyched that, Tyler too. Ton of footage. I was psyched they skated that uh, pyramid that people skate like a mani pad that we saw Louis Lopez skated when Cons went to Mexico. Uh huh. Just, I think that it. That's the type of spot that it's not something you're going to skate at a skate park. Like, it's pretty different. Like, you're just going to find that spot, and it opens up opportunities for, like, cool manual tricks. Um, and the, those dudes killed that spot, too. I, yeah. I'm hyped. Like, if I see someone going to Mexico City, I hope I see them skate that spot because it's tight. Yeah, and Brad Cromer and Poss pulled up, like, a five-star. Yeah, that was sick. Hey, did you guys <laughs> notice Cromer was getting a zip zagger, the, the uh, shaped crooked boards? Uh-huh. That yeah, he's like the crazy, me, he, had this, he skated in LSD too. When he did that huge ollie in this off that bump over up that huge bank, he had the the crooked zigzagger board. It doesn't surprise me one bit. That guy is like insanely good. He could skate anything. Mm-hmm. He could skate anything. He's got it all. I love Brad skating. Stops. It's pretty cool that they're still doing projects for their footwear company, even though they're like literally already yeah. have basically thrown in the towel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's rad. They're still doing it until until they get wrapped up. I'm interested to see. Um, I mean, I hope there's a couple more, a couple more, and then I mean, I, not all that team's going to be together anymore. So I wonder what the hell happens to those dudes. We'll have to see. They all deserve a home. Like none of those dudes are like slacks by any mean, you know. Like they're yeah. all fucking sick. Yeah, we'll see. Especially Tyler. No, Brad and Tyler are like the the ones that I'm like. I think. I think someone's gonna uh, go after Dryson too. He's pretty. Oh hard. yeah, for sure. I think it'll be like a Vans. I mean, honestly, I think most of Huff's team fits like Vans or Cons. I don't know if those two companies think... can eat up all those people, but. I think yeah, that's like I what think they fit. Brad, uh, Brad on cons is a cool look. I hope Austin gets on cons. Yeah, that's. I, I mean, see that Brad seems like a... Do you still wear those shoes? 
I haven't skated Nikes mainly recently, but I've skated cons recently too. I'm more I love their shoes. Right now. You know, you we talked about Louis Lopez a few times in this episode. Yeah, um, you know, I'm still waiting for you know that ad trick that they've been doing on Instagram. Oh yeah, he didn't do his yet, I'm huh? Patiently waiting. I'm like, what's going on? Dude, is Shaw called you is, out? He tagged. Is Shaw said he did it first try. <laughs> I don't believe it. That's in, that's like forty tricks. Uh, Not forty, but he that's like kept 15. going too. He could. Yeah, his shot should have just gone off. Yeah, like I had his ten tricks. Yeah, <laughs> it sucks for you. <laughs> big flip, nollie, big flip, hard flip, switch, backside flip. Uh, who started it? Eric Bragg, I believe. No, I've only seen two of Did them. Did you guys I see believe. Tony Hawk star the vert one? Yeah, I saw the guy posted it. Yeah, that's tight. Yeah. Uh, it was funny how he was like, oh, I do backside air, and then and now I toss it to Jimmy Wilkins. And oh, Jimmy, Jimmy Wilkins, Wilkins is here. Right oh, there. shit. Where'd he come from? <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. Grant, please yeah. Intro- please bless us with this segment of everybody's favorite segment. The Grant. This week's Grant's Graham. Yeah. Dude, Alex Wilms. Who uh, has told me he's a viewer of the show? So thank you for that, Alex. San Diego local. Uh, a new park in San Diego takes a route that I don't think anyone else will skate the park this way. 50's the top ledge that you have to gap into. Oh my God. Wally's I, up the hubba. I just got hubba. done commenting on this. Dude. Wally's up the hubba. <laughs> out, 50 Wally to 50 <laughs> down the hubba. Yeah. Like, yeah. that clip is insane. I thought it was a rail like, he did it on. Was it a hubba that he hubba's? Uh, that it's, he a, it's like a skinny or hubba, yeah. Oh, okay. Dude, it's nuts, though. Like, when he locked into 50 on the on the top ledge, I was like, oh, he's going to do 50 wallied. Like, that's <coughs> like 50 that thing's pretty crazy. Like, that, you have to gap in, whatever. And then he wallied up it and started 50 down it. And I was pro- I bet this was me on my phone. I was probably this. Like, I was like, no way. Yeah. And he kept his speed the whole time. Like, it was so perfect. Yeah, Mafia that, posted I it. Out. Mafia posted it, and I was going ham on the in the comments. And then I I clicked on his page, and I saw you and Billy had commented it, and I was like, oh, I'm bummed. I wanted to share it <laughs> with you guys, but I was also bummed. I'm like, why didn't you guys tag me in this? This is fucking monumental skateboarding right here. So, you, no one can have, win. Oh wow, Drew, that was ever, awesome. <clears throat> Drew, have you ever watched Alex? Like, heard of him? Seen him skate at all? Mm-mm. No, I'm a new fan. Dude, I'm excited for you to see. I mean, I know he's been out. He just started getting mafia boards recently, but they're posting him. Like, I think he's now that Alexis got the bump. I think Alex is the new Alex, pretty the much new guy new they're going to try and bring up. Yeah, which is tight. Good for Alex. I have seen him around since I pretty much started skating, and I've always wondered why he wasn't like really hooked up by someone because he skates so good. Like, he's so gnarly, so consistent, and he can get tech. He's just someone that can do pretty much everything. Um, so I'm glad that Mafia's backing him. He needs some shine from someone. He deserves it. I don't know if you guys remember, Ben Ramers did a really long board slide uh, at a oh, ditch. Bank? Yeah. Dude, everyone's been yes. posting that. Everyone's posted that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Alex Alex switched lip slid that Shut recently. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. No, he sw- Yes, in his last part, he switched lip slides it, and he's going so fast down the thing, it's insane. Switch? He switched yeah, he's front really good. Switch I'm watching lip? his clips right now. He switched front lift it. How, how do you know? So Have you seen it, or did they post it already? It was in his last part, yeah. They came out like a few months ago. Oh, what was that part called? It was in Moki 2, which is like a crew, like North County dudes. Oh. Have you skated with them? Yeah, I've skated with I've never, like, hit up Alex to meet up, but I've, like, seen him at parks a bunch, and we'll, like, say what's up. He was at the Slappies premiere also a couple weeks back, so I said what's up to him there. Hmm. He just ollied like a fucking 16 stair. Dude, he kick flipped a double set that's uh, at La Jolla. What school is it at? Some school in La Jolla that should not be skatable. Like, <laughs> I think he's only, I think someone ollied it and then Alex kick flipped it recently, but that spot's been around forever, I think, too. What and the... no one really stepped to it. Yeah, he's real good. What the, what the, hell's, what the hell's Terry Candy talking about? He's saying, Free my homie, Shug Knight. No. Oh, God. I don't even want to know. What the hell? Well, that's episode 200, ladies and gentlemen, of Skate Filet. Thank you guys. I'm psyched we made it to 200. That's uh, so many. That's yeah. Drew, do you want to mention, should we talk? We're not we're not doing this live anymore. 
Oh, they they should probably know. <laughs> yeah, we're not live right now, but yeah. uh, <laughs> yeah, but we appreciate yeah, we're you guys watching. It. it means a lot to us. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you guys for the next two hundred more. See you guys Whoa. next week. Later, skaters. <laughs>